All right, let's begin. Here's some AP practice problems. For a science fair project, two students decide to repeat the Hershey and Chase experiment with modifications. They decide to label the nitrogen of the DNA rather than the phosphate. They reason that each nucleotide has one phosphate and two to five nitrogens. Thus, labeling the nitrogen would provide a stronger signal than labeling the phosphates. Why won't this experiment work? A. Radioactive nitrogen has a half-life of 100,000 years and the material will be too dangerous for too long. B. Although there are more nitrogens in a nucleotide, label phosphates actually have 16 extra neutrons. Therefore, they are more radioactive. C. There is no radioactive isotope of nitrogen. Or D. Amino acids and thus proteins also have nitrogen atoms. Thus, the radioactivity will not be distinguished between the DNA and proteins. 2. A eukaryotic gene has sticky ends produced by restriction endonuclease E. coli. The gene is added to a mixture containing E. coli and a bacterial plasmid that contains two genes conferring resistance to ampicillin and tetracycline. The plasmid has one recognition site for E. coli located in the tetracycline resistance gene. This mixture is incubated for several hours exposed to DNA ligase and then added to bacteria growing in nutrient broth. The bacteria are allowed to grow overnight and are streaked on a plate using a technique that produces isolated colonies that are clones of the original. Samples of these colonies are then grown in four different mediums. Nutrient broth plus ampicillin, nutrient broth plus tetracycline, nutrient broth plus ampicillin and tetracycline, and nutrient broth without antibiotics. The principal problem with inserting an unmodified mammalian gene into a bacterial plasmid and then getting the gene expressed in bacteria is... A. Prokaryotes use a different genetic code from that of eukaryotes. B. Bacterial RNA polymerase cannot make RNA complementary to mammalian DNA. Okay, they're missing something. C. Bacteria cannot remove eukaryotic introns. And D. Bacteria translate polycytronic messages only. Next question. Eukaryotic cells... Oh, okay, so this reading is the same thing, so we'll just go to the question. A gene that contains introns can be made shorter but remain functional for genetic engineering purposes by using a restriction enzyme to cut the gene into shorter pieces, B, DNA ligase to put together fragments of DNA that codes for a particular polypeptide, C, DNA polymerase to reconstruct the gene from its polypeptide products, or D, reverse transcriptase to reconstruct the gene from its mRNA. Why are yeast cells frequently used as hosts for cloning? A, there are easily formed colonies. B, only yeast cells allow the gene to be cloned. C, they can remove exons from mRNA. D, they are eukaryotic cells.